Hi people, I hope you are enjoying your week so far. My name is A Square, I'm a photographer and in this week's video we're going to shoot a circus performer inside a gym. How and why? So first, uh, the why. We were in bloody London a few weeks back and uh, let's say that the weather was awful at best, the light was somewhere but not in London, it was raining every day, every hour, every minute and uh, I just want to say hats off to all my fellow photographers that work there all year long. So finding indoor places, locations to shoot in London was a must and not an easy task at all. I even think it's one of the worst cities to get authorizations to shoot anywhere, inside or outside. So really I'm happy to not have found just one but two gyms that accepted to welcome us for our photo shoot. But I kind of have some bad news. Uh, the first session happened inside Core Collective London uh, where we made these shots, beautiful shots there with Miranda. But unfortunately our GoPro didn't work so I do not have any footage, any behind the scenes images of that particular shoot. But we have something from the second session that happened on another day inside Marylebone, uh, Marylebone, Third Space Marylebone Spa, Third Space Merrill. I don't know how to pronounce this. And I don't do this often, but I'll walk you through the shoot and explain you why I made certain choices for each and every shot we made there. I've worked in gyms before with CrossFit and fitness athletes, which makes sense. Miranda is an aerialist, contortionist, circus performer, so how did we manage to make this work? So we started with the most difficult shot. In this room there are mirrors everywhere. I wanted to use a flash, I wanted to have multiple reflections in the shot and we went for a symmetrically centered shot. My flash was placed camera right, my camera my 5D Mark IV was on a tripod and once I had my composition we had to decide which pose we wanted to nail. I wanted something low facing the camera and we tested two different poses. Once we had them I asked everybody to leave the room. I wanted to take multiple shots without anybody in the room. Uh, basically making multiple clean plate shots to help me erase all the unnecessary elements that was initially in the picture. And you know what? I made a video on that particular subject. The second picture maybe was the easiest one to make, at least for me. Miranda is capable of doing so many things. She's so talented that I could barely ask her anything I wanted. So you think you can go up there? Of course I can. Then let's go. For security reasons, I asked my partner, who was also filming, to place that crash pad, I think it's called, I don't know what it's called, but you get it, to help Miranda get up there and get down. Of course, she pulled it out of the scene to help me have a clean shot and not to spend hours inside photoshopping post. For this third picture I decided to try and use some props accessories that were laying in that particular room. I deliberately focused on Miranda because that scene was really busy and there were people working out in the back. With my flash directly facing her, we avoided any bounce of light or reflection on the mirror behind. Hey. 
This fourth picture was a little tricky too. We worked with mirrors again. Like the first picture, we had to find a way to hide me a little bit and to control the unique source of light that I had. Again, there was a lot of things going on around us. You cannot really see it in the video. So we decided to play with shadows, with contrast, and I decided to underexpose a little bit more than usual my scene and to focus with the light on Miranda. final shot we didn't film anything because yes fog plus your lens doesn't work <laughs> we had to make these two shots really fast so we discussed the pose and composition beforehand once we decided what we were doing went inside took a shots and voila <laughs> In conclusion, this is what we did in five points. Number one, try to use different scenes. Do not make all your pictures in one place. Number two, pay attention to details. Are there any elements in your scene that can be too distracting? Are there any reflections of you or your flash? Number three, if your scene is too busy, if there are a lot of things going on in the background, play with your lights. Yes, play with your lights. People are attracted by highlights, but what's in the light? So, darken your background, underexpose your background, and focus on your subject. Number four, really important, think your shot beforehand. Always do. What are you going to do to this image in post? Yes. Do I need a clean plate, a clean shot with nobody in my scene? Can I somehow make it work without using Photoshop later on? The less time you spend in Photoshop, the better. Get it in camera. Number five, the things you decide to keep in your frame are as important as the things you decide to keep out. Sometimes just a few elements can make us understand where this shot was taken. So sometimes the option of the tight shot is the best solution. So that's it, complete gallery before and afters and diagrams are on my website in the related blog post. Huge thanks to Third Place for letting us film and shoot inside their amazing gym. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and press that little bell thing if you don't want to miss my future post. You can also offer me that little thumbs up even if you hate that video because yes, we all need a little love, even me. Share this video with your buddies and tell me in the comments below how do you make epic images inside gyms. Thank you, Miranda, you rock, you did a fantastic job on this photo shoot. There are, I think, more London stuff coming up, so stay tuned. Guys, I hope you will have a fantastic weekend, and until my next video, please, please, take care.